going on, Legion? Azrael here, like always. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this interview thing. Sorry, it's a little, you know, spaced out from the other two. That's not really my intention. Um, as far as the concert that I'm doing, um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to not do it. One of the things is somebody, like I, I think I said this before, somebody linked me a playlist of independent videos instead of one video that was an hour long. And I haven't looked at it. Uh, I haven't even gotten into it to see if it's better or, or what. Um, my sleeping schedule is so messed up. I don't make videos later in the evening. I stream at 7 p.m. my time on Twitch. So anything from 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. and on, I don't I don't do it. It's either streaming or my my personal time when I'm done streaming. Uh, I try to make videos early in the day, so I've been sleeping until like the p.m.s. I don't know why. Uh, and one of the things that I said I would never do is when I do music reactions, to do them when I'm just not feeling it. If I do that concert, I'm just gonna be doing like a lot of, uh, eh, oh, that was cool, and then I'm out. Like, I'm half awake now, man. I look like I just got home. I look like a potato. And I got, like, a bunch of videos to make. But I was really interested, and I really wanted to finish up this interview because I just I found it so fun. It's just so chill. Uh, and it's, it's just going to be that. It's going to be me listening and stuff like that. There's not – unless they talk about something crazy, you know, oh, my God. It's just a good interview, man. And I'm interested to see what they're going to uh, talk about. And, uh, yeah, and what's coming up on the channel is a, it's some more reactions to Star Trek Discovery, The Flash, that's coming back this Thursday, uh, The Boys, which looks like a funny superhero thing, and then the YouTube series Wayne. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can expect that stuff for the rest of the week, uh, the next four days at least. But with that, let's just get into this whole, uh, this whole interview and this whole awesome thing, man. I, it's pretty excited. I will, I will not, like, say that I'm not going to do it, but I don't know when I'm going to be doing the, the concert. I don't think it's going to be, like, two weeks away. I'll try to, I'm trying to get my some schedule fixed right now. That's why I'm really tired and staying up. I'm going to try to get to it after these videos are over. So within four days, seven days, something like that. Uh, it's a Sunday right now, so I'm going to really try to, to do that, buckle down and, and get to it. Um, I don't want to promise I'll make two videos. That way I have something to upload right quick, but I might. I'll try. Sorry for that. I, re I really am. I'm just, I'm just dead ass tired, man. I just don't, I really just don't want to do anything right now. I just don't, I don't even want to stream. Like, I, I play video games on Twitch. I don't even want to do that. Whatever, fuck it, I'm bitching. Are you even reading well, what people it. are saying? Well, that's They are, they are also building the world, like I said. We're very, mm. not to come off as like, mm on that stalker level, but... Uh, did I misread what I said? No, yeah. 20... 37. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. I didn't want to make... I do watch them. Mm. And I see how... And I don't watch everyone, though. I, don't, I watch... the ones that, that really... Really get it. Really understand. So you have really specific wanna... fans that you. Not spe I mean, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a group of them. I guess there's just this like, outer layer noise, mm. that I just consider, to be irrelevant. Not relevant. Hey. But what is that 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 fan that really understands and is is, right. is tracked with me up until this point? How are they? How is this hitting them? And the story builds from there, man. We'll see if this works. Do I qualify as noise? I wonder. You're, talking, you're pitting this idea of a, of a concept and the story is very thought out and there's there's a bunch of time spent in between release and I don't I, I don't even know if this is gonna gonna work <laughs> in the day of streaming and getting a single out every chance you can. When you guys first came out, people didn't understand the depth of the subject matter and what you were really trying to say. They were focusing on the melodies and the music and the beats and the production and the live shows and all the things that make a surface impression. And over the course of all your albums now, we've found you going deeper and deeper and saying, look, you know, there are fundamental things I'm trying to fix here or I'm trying to understand, you know. And now, more than ever, we're all trying to understand those things. 
and we're all having louder conversations about anxiety, depression, lack of self-worth. And we're, we're speaking as, as one a lot more clearly about that because I think that's... And it's not just Tori Mapata, it's the Times. That's a good way of trying to demystify it. Not, you know I mean? oh, we're getting that right. We're getting that uh, not to take anything from Toronto Pilots, but it, they, they're not the ones that started this discussion either. When people, when, when kids are live streaming themselves on Facebook, taking their lives, and things like that, there's a discussion being talked about, and a lot of that stuff. So I think it's funny, uh, not their niche, but their beliefs, I should say, about self harm and stuff like that, because it is the times now, and people are very much aware of it. I think that definitely helped their. Like he said, the surface level, um, the surface level of tops popularity, because, and it's not because of like kids being hurt or something like that. It's that the people that are paying attention to the lyrics are like, oh my god, these guys are great, and all the people that wouldn't hear that are going, why are they so great? And you listen, they either like the music or they don't, the melodies and stuff like that, or they maybe they take it a little bit to heart. It very much reminds me of say like Eminem. When Eminem came out, he hit that niche. There are no white rappers, uh, and he was talking about things that appealed to white people. He just he hit it at the perfect time. Um, and I don't think that, of course, Top didn't go for that niche, but their beliefs coincided with what you could call a powder keg or, or something like that where the digital world and taking your own life has become one, and it's become a thing. Murder, too. So I think that their beliefs and what they've been saying and the world came together at the same time. And that's very much why their popularity, I think, helped. I think it helped pop, pop their popularity. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Right, this is moving in the right direction, for sure. Mm. It's something that you experience. I'm taking a punt on that, listening yeah. to your music. Yeah. Um, a punt. All right, Englishman. Tell me what a punt is. Now in a world where we're talking about it, uh, something that... I've been looking for for a while. And it's been a while. I'm really glad that we're here. I'm proud of our culture in that way, for sure. Talking about um, suicides. Logan had nothing to do with it. And suicide, too. You know, you, you, we like to name like the depression and the bullying, anxiety, right, we're terrified school people. shootings. We gotta say that too. You know, and, and I, it's it's finally we're gays can marry family. now. Yeah. It's all coming together. My mom's a school teacher, and she, she has, she, I talk with her all the time about the things that she looks out for and how, how it affects mm. kind of that environment as its own microcosm of a, of a culture. Mm -hmm. um, right. And it's, um, it's important to talk about and that it's real and how real can it get for you? I, I don't want to keep pausing it. I, I usually, I hate react. I thumb, feel free to do it, but I thumbs down people that pause too much and try to analyze. Um, but he's saying a lot of things that I'm thinking about. The good thing about Todd, and plus this community likes to hear people's thoughts, so I, I think I'm safe. If you're doing like an Eminem reaction and you're pausing it every whatever seconds, it's music, don't do that. That's annoying. This is an interview, a little different. Um, it's funny, he's talking about his mom being a school teacher, talking about it, things like that. Because um, kids don't usually want to do that. And I think that's a good thing that why they are so popular. Or it's good that they are popular because they're telling a, new, a, a generation, A, hey, you might want to speak up and say something before it's too late. And when I was talking about violence, school shooting, gays, all that stuff like that earlier, just to clarify... Uh, I was talking about how all the things that have been happening, whether it was the oppression of a group or the ignorance of, say, something happening in violence world for against children, it's all coming together. We're talking about, we're allowing the good to happen, um, we're trying to solve the bad. That's kind of the point I was making. I've always been pretty good at compartmentalizing, and it's, nothing, it's not because I had to cope with something or whatever. I think that I was maybe born just being able to compartmentalize um and i think my music is like the only real true window into a compartment that i i um about as that's about as comfortable as i like to get 
with that and to something that I, that's still breathing, moving, mm -hmm. shifting, adapting, um, becoming immune. And um, as much as the conversation about it is very good, and there's something about the personal aspect of it, mm -hmm. that it, it is very good to make sure that it doesn't take life. It doesn't. Um, gain traction. So he talks to his mom about these kind of issues, so, whether she's looking into it is or his problems. And is the window into it. Mm. Um, but he but doesn't talk about it other than that. Maybe his wife. I don't think it's healthy for me to give you the keys to that house. Mm. Right. I, I, the reason I reached for my phone um, was because I'm looking at the track listing. And uh, I wanted to talk about, um, we've talked about the first song, I want to talk about the last song. I want to talk about Leave the City, I want to talk about the restrained weight that's mm. in that song and how it never quite reaches the crescendo and it always promises but doesn't quite get there. And then at yeah. the end, it just, it's like, I mean, you tell me what the last word on the album is. The last words. There's a, there's a isolated sentence. They know what I mean. Yeah. Um, they know what I mean. That song, I haven't really heard it. Inside of the, the narrative, but in that narrative, I know that I wanted to, I, I needed to leave somewhere and start this journey and this. Mm this point in between two places that a lot of us can find ourselves in, whatever version of that fits into your life. We're always trying to, we're always trying to dance in between those two places. How do we get there? And it's scary and it's, you don't know what to expect and it's kind of hard to see. And, um, but that, but this record is about pushing through and, and starting that, starting that, that journey between those two places. Yeah, it feels started, and I would never. In this record, I have I did not define what that that where you're supposed to be is though. I admit, there's no name for it. There's no, that's not defined, and that was intentional. Because that's your journey. To be a part of this process. I knew this record was about getting up and starting that, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to find that thing in this record. Yeah, everybody's des destination does. It is different, and then it doesn't. And kind of it drops way. you off and like, yeah. okay. You're about to embark on another you know, tour and all the things that come with making music and reaching your family. But the next album will be his like, destination. Leave the city could take you anywhere, hmm. right? I mean, yeah. do you even... What's next? What's next? And is it even music? And is it... Oh. Did you enjoy that year off? I mean, you've got an amazing house. You're married. You've got... I said to, your, to Jenny, your wife, who's lovely, by the way. She's... Um, I just can get on record. Uh, can I talk about her for a second? One hundred percent. Okay. Starting <laughs> uh, cool. his career felt like I was standing at the edge of a, an ocean, and I was given some supplies, and they were like, "Okay, make a boat." And I, and I put this thing together, and I wrapped it up, and I built this boat, and en enough to start to float. And we started going, and found some more debris on the way and kind of built this thing and then before you know it I'm it's like that game like tugboat sized thing and it's got a motor and we're going mm -hmm. uh and then um eventually things happen and I, i'm on a, i'm on a yacht and we're just flying it through this through this journey and all the while i think that some people would assume that my significant other in the process is in a smaller boat next to me waiting for this boat to inevitably either wreck or run out of fuel and when it does i hop onto hers and we head off into the sunset when actually what's happening is in relation to who she is to me i've built this little tugboat thing and that's about that's about as big as it ever got and she is waiting for me to run out of gas <laughs> in a cruise ship. <laughs> and when that goes down, I've got this to pick me up. Mm -hmm. It's just a really weird way of saying that she's the best thing I've accomplished. Mm. And I can't wait to just lean on her. Oof. Her. There you go. There you go. 
All right. I can't <laughs> wait. Those those are great words. And I maybe can't... that'll inspire our next record. Oh, stuff. there he is. He's pulling <laughs> it back from the brink of absolute disaster. <laughs> it all came out right there. But understandably so on the last day of the album. You're like, you know, and remember what I said about flirting with finality? Mm -hmm. Artists who, what's the obsession with finality? Yeah. You have this life. You have this other boat. Yeah. And yet you choose to stay on the, on the tugboat, man. Are you unafraid of, I get of that. living a different life? I think that... Um, You'd be amazed how many musicians are afraid mm, of stopping. Yeah, I, uh, I think what helps me is to glorify getting old. <laughs> Not be afraid of it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I think it. I'm older than him. It sucks. If, if our culture were to see our elderly in that way as like... No they've accomplished something. They've ran a race and they have a lot to tell us about how we can better. As long as the elderly don't cover up the baby powder smell with cologne and perfume, I'm fine. Right. I think that that would help with a lot of things. Is that, have you always felt that way? Is that why you put two old people on the cover of Vessel? Yeah, I've always felt that way. And actually my- Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, there's, hello? How, can you see me? It, there's two old people on. I, I didn't know that. Why didn't anybody link me that stuff before? I didn't know. Jesus. I got to start looking at the cover art to some of this stuff, man. I think it's like in depth. It means something. I haven't been paying attention. Oh, man. I fell out of the loop. He, he died uh, last month, but he was a um, oh. big part of my life. And I think more so now after his passing. Do I realize how much of a resource I had? Mm. And I have I have one grandfather who's still living, who's absolutely still an inspiration to Ask me. Ask the questions. You know, he's a he's dealt with alcoholism his whole life, and he's been sober for so many years now. And you've never drunk, right? No. Yeah, never had never, and, and being on the road and all that stuff, never felt the pull to it. Just doesn't. I've had it. one. I, I've had. You want to ask me about my first alcoholic beverage? One hundred percent. It was a, uh, <laughs> it was an expired Bud Light, oh. and I was like, probably thirteen. That's it. And it was terrible. Oh, dude. And uh, in a way, I think it's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I had to chase it with Gatorade. Oh. It was awful. Yeah, it sounds oh, it. Nope. 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 Told you it's a slanted. The slanted table. Is that a chair making a noise? Or is that something? I have all these gigantic mouse pads over here. Dude, this is the most pristine and clean. Is that somebody thing laughing in, in the background? I gotta be honest with you. Don't tell me you cleaned it, bro. Jenna dusted this before you guys came. <laughs> have you been literally sitting in here in your pants, like in your boxer shorts, literally just stinking up the joint? It's. Did yeah. you grow a beard? I, yeah. You did grow a beard? Yeah, I did. I shaved last night. Get out of here! You had a bit. How, how deep did it go? It was terrible, man. How? No, how? Like, it was committed, were so you? itchy, and I hated it. <laughs> it was long. It wasn't. It was stringy. It was like your first real beard. It was not like. <laughs> it would have looked it terrible. A, it was a shame. You really got a. You got a culture of beard. You can't just grow one out and think that you're gonna look like Rick Rubin. That takes like. <laughs> and I, there's so many more things I need to go through. You know, like before I can really <laughs> yeah I mean, puberty is one of them so many things you gotta experience for the very first time add a beard trousers at some point you have to put those on yeah see how they feel. I didn't shower for a long time there was a moment where I hadn't looked in the mirror in like a week you should try that it's crazy oh my god what did you notice before? I've done that you do that a lot I felt like I was getting older wow so you noticed the change you yeah in a week I was like man maybe I was just really tired but mm. that yeah. actually makes sense if you haven't noticed that thing. what were you eating you were being fed, obviously. Yeah, I mean, Jenna was... Taking care of you. She's a culinary artist. Did, uh, did was she ever concerned? Did she ever come down and just put you, pat you on the shoulder and just be like... Did you notice this? Yeah, she told me, like, you shouldn't eat. <laughs> you should, you should, hey... She, she's never too particular about hygiene, but she did several times, like, when's the last time you took a shower? So, <laughs> just those types of questions. What an amazing time in your life, man, to be able to um, have achieved all of this. Yeah, this is a great you know, woman, man. This is a great fuel woman. In the tank to make your most ambitious album and project to date. Like most people settle here, and then it's there's a compromise mm -hmm. somewhere along the line. And there's there's no compromise going on in your art, and yet mm -hmm. you've already gotten to this place. Yeah. And I just think like as a way of saying yeah. goodbye. No I studio. If you ever allow yourself. 
probably not in the last 12 months. But if any point you allow yourself a chance to reflect finally on where you're at in your life. Because how old are you now, Tyler? 29. You're 29 years old. I right? am older than him. Are you scared of feeling reflective or feeling satisfied? I love creating. I need to create. But there's something about when it gets to this level, there's something about convincing yourself that it's it's kind of not real. It's it's something that will go away. And preparing yourself, I know that you talk about finality being something that artists are obsessed with, but Tyler's MacBook Pro. <laughs> um, I think that you just you you have to try to get get okay with that. And the quicker you do, the more you'll enjoy this moment. And yeah, I'm. I'm not. You know what ends that? Do you, do you know what? Do you know what cures that? What? The end of narcissism. And do you know what kills narcissism? Kids. <laughs> I can't wait to have kids, man. Yeah, man. It's one more cycle. It's been great hanging, man. Hey, thanks for letting us in. Thanks for coming. Well, when he goes through puberty, he'll be able to have kids eventually. All right. Lane Low, is that how you say it? Check that guy out, man, and subscribe to his channel. That was a great, that was an incredible interview. It was a great time watching this whole thing. I loved every moment of it. It was awesome. I can't wait to check out anything else he's done. Uh, if he's done, like, some other rock artist that I might be, like, super fans of, I'll definitely, it's like doing note clip. I don't know how many guys are into gaming, but there is a guy that does, I'm pretty sure it's called Note Clip on YouTube only and Patreon and he does document documentaries uh, on like video game type stuff so the people that made Rocket League he did a part one through three I think documentary uh, documentary of that uh, he did I think Doom and he did a lot of stuff I think he did Elder Scrolls with to uh, Todd Howard um, I would be opposed to rechecking that stuff out it's been a while um Especially like the Beth the Bethesda interview. I don't remember a lot from it. I remember it was really good though. If you guys are into something like that, I'll I'd, I'd love to check out some more kind of uh, documentary type things. Like if you guys want some more documentaries, if there's a music documentary specifically, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are here specifically for this group, this band right here, this band of two. Um, but th if there is some kind of music... Not something too like indie and unknown and underground like that nobody that doesn't live in like Seattle that didn't get the weird pass on the back of their bubblegum wrapper wouldn't know who they are. Fuck all that. I don't care about that garbage. It has to be somebody that I'm going to give a crap about. You know, if, they, if this guy like somehow interviewed like Angus Young, oh shit, that would be the best thing ever. He's probably my favorite person in music. ACDC, favorite band. Favorite music. I think out of everything. Uh, Angus Young's brother unfortunately passed away. Um, I think it was early this year, late last year. I can't quite remember. Um, which was really unfortunate. He was brothers, man. Just decades of music together. And uh, he's gone. And it's really sad. I would love to see an interview, t him talking about the behind the scenes of ACDC. Um and his life with his brother. That'd be really cool. I don't know if this guy's done that. I don't even know if he does other uh, interviews. They're not document. Uh, uh, yeah. They're more like interview style stuff. But this guy very much reminds me of the guy that does the, uh, uh, the documentaries. You know, about gaming and stuff like that. Also, I wanted to ask you guys. I don't know how many people are like weeb friendly. Uh... I was thinking in the middle of this interview, something that they said or whatever, when he said, oh, look, it, you got this stuff right here. And my first thought was, yeah, and all his toys, you know, all the collectible Mario and action figure type things he had glued up. But it made me instantly think, I should start doing anime openings and endings, like reviews. Like I was watching B. Beginning on Netflix that opening song is really good, and I I'll, I'll listen to it. I've listened I listen to it all the time. I'll make a video about that, just simply listening to that music. Um, 
what do you call it, 11 Eyes, I think is another one. That has another great intro. I haven't listened to that in a long time. But anime, it, you don't have to like anime. That's not the point. But sometimes the music that that does it, that, that starts it multiple beginnings, like Overlord, holy Christ. The beginning openings to those, part one, part two, like season one, season two, are really good. So if any of you guys are like, maybe want to hear something that's a little different, uh, then maybe some Toy My Pilots. I'll, of course, do more Toy My Pilots. Um, but things that are like just kind of outside the box. A lot of people did the Eminem uh, kamikaze reaction. And I figured I wasn't going to be that guy. I, I wouldn't have paused it through that. I would have just listened to the song outright like I was doing epic rap battles of history. You know, I wouldn't have stopped. Um, I also wouldn't go back and break down the bars and, and things like that. So I've, I've watched dozens of hours, pretty much, of the, all reactors reacting to the same songs multiple times. So that's been dead in the water. But that's what's popular, right? Checking out the Eminem stuff, the MGK disc, which was a flop, the kill shot, which destroyed MGK. And if you don't think so, you're, you know, I'm not one to say your opinions are wrong, but you're wrong. Because it hit triple quad quadruple entendros that you didn't even know about destroyed MGK. The, the title of that of that diss track is from a movie where the main character is named after it, it, the, the the character's name is what Machine Gun Kelly's real name is, and that character gets gunned down and dies. The name of that diss track kill shot destroyed MGK before it was even listened to. That's the kind of crap people have been talking about. But I would like to do something that's a little different. When we did 21 Pilots, I said, anything else, we got Nothing But Thieves, a UK band that we listened to a song by Amsterdam. We listened to a few others. Amsterdam was really a good song. I didn't really care for the rest. Uh, I haven't gone back and checked them out. I would like to. I'm just lazy because I don't want to get into something I'm probably not going to like. Um, but I don't see a lot of people doing like anime openings and endings review like i would do the opening and ending in the same video that because it's just music um oh god is it death it's, i don't know if it's death note i think it's death note has like this insane it's like i have it i have it like right okay uh i don't think i'm gonna be able to find it actually it's i don't know what song it is it's let's go to anime music because yes I have a folder that's under anime music um well there's the 11 eyes one uh, oh I think it's this one right here so let, let me just kind of sample this I think it's this one isn't it yeah see this is I actually don't remember what this is from It's not a death note, it's from something else that I can't remember the damn name. But this is like an example of like... Of, of an opening to like, say, an anime. And this would be a cool, I think, change. to something like that. Because you just listen to it and it's just very calm. And it's very just kind of... It's in Japanese. But just, just listen, just listen for a second. So this is, this is what we're kind of listening to. You know, we're just hanging out. We're just, it's very calm. Just. And that's where I'll just kind of end that. Um, but doing something like that would be a cool change, I think, to doing music. I would love to do more music stuff. The problem with 21 Pilots is that there is a lot of meaning. There's a lot of all this other stuff. Sometimes I just want a badass song to listen to, right? And it doesn't have to be in English. Um... And that was a good just, oh yeah, yep, mm-hmm, let me just go nuts to that. So if you want to see something that's more like that, maybe not specifically like metal, death metal-y, screamo, with like the grudge chick playing the fucking drums, uh, yeah, man, let me know in the comments if you maybe want something outside the box, something a little different. I, I just had a random thought that, yeah, anime openings, because a lot of them are just really just badass music. Um... I can't think of any other openings. Like I, we could do like TV show openings. 
the, the musical, the full ver- Fresh Prince of Bel Air, fucking the Friends theme, things like that. So if you if you want some music stuff that's just out and weird, let me know, and I'd love to do it. With that being said, this is a fucking thirty minute video. Oh hell yeah! Oh, it's it's typical Twenty One Pilot goodness of just long videos and what the fuck am I doing, blabbing along, right? All right, man. I think we're gonna end it right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and just use this little outro music right here. And, uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you guys like, subscribe, and share. Remember, complete to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. And I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Once again, my name is Azrael. Thanks for watching. If you want to discuss anything we talked about on this channel, you can always like, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment down below. Love to see and love to hear all the comments. And, uh, yeah, it's just some crazy Japanese metal. I love it. It's a great song. I just, I, I just want to hear it more and more. This dude has a weird face. Do you want to see the rest of this? Let me know. Oh, it's going crazy. Yep. Alright. And that's a 30 minute video. 31 minute. Oh, I can't wait to upload this. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get back to the concert. And hopefully we check out some weird stuff. Later.